Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon Lex to create and build conversational bots that understands your requests and asks for more input if needed. If all of the required inputs have been given, the bot will ask for confirmation before triggering an action. First, I will create a bot. I logged in with my AWS free tier account and I am at AWS Management Console. I will search Lex and select Amazon Lex. I am at the Amazon Lex page. I click on Get Started and then select Custom Bot. I give a name to the bot. Order handler. Then I will select an output voice. It plays a sample voice, and I need to type that. My name is Joanna. I set up five minutes as the session timeout. Then I will select the option that says this bot will not be used for children. And then I click on create button. Next, I have to create an intent. An intent is a particular goal that the user wants to achieve. So I select the create intent button and search for an existing intent. Amazon.help intent and give a name. Next, I will add a custom intent. So from the left side intent menu, I click on the plus sign and then select create intent. I will create order pizza. Then click on add button. Next, I will add sample utterances with the order pizza intent. An utterance is a phrase that invokes user intent. So I can use like I would like to order pizza and then click on add button. I will add few more sample utterances. Next, I will create slots. Slots are like variables for which user must provide input to fulfill the intent. In this sample utterances, um, user may say something else like, I would like to order chicken pizza, or I would like to order two chicken pizza. Or user can say, I would like to order five large chicken pizza. So there are different words that user can use in this simple utterances and make different utterances. I will choose those words and make them as slot. So I select the first word that can be a different value for different order. And then choose create slot with new slot type. I give a name. And for values, the existing value is already there. I add other possible values.
and then click on add slot to intent it automatically gets a name and I will rename this then I will go to its settings and create prompts and corresponding utterances with new slot names that are variables in these corresponding utterances and prompts and to use a slot name I need to use curly brackets on the name and there is a default prompt which is about city I will remove that default prompt added and the default one is removed so I select save the first slot has been added in the sample utterances I need to select the words that represent these slots and use available slot in that place Next, I will create a slot for pizza. Add different values. And then click on add slot to intent. I will rename this new slot and go to its settings and add prompts corresponding utterances like and remove the default prompt and click save now I will select the words that represent this new slot and replace them with available slot name
Next, I will add another slot for size. and add slot to intent I will rename this and go to the settings to change prompt and corresponding utterances Remove the default prompt. And type in corresponding utterances. And then save. I will select the words that represent size and replace them with available slot. Next for the topping, Click on add to intent. Rename this slot. And set prompts and corresponding utterances. Remove the default prompt and write the corresponding utterances. and save. Then I select the topping name from the corresponding utterances and replace them with available slot. Next for the number of pages I will add order quantity slot. So I select 
one of the number in, from the corresponding utterances and then I will select and then I will search for an existing slot so in the search box I search for Amazon number and then rename this slot This slot would be a required value, so I check the required checkbox and then go to the settings to set up prompts and corresponding utterances. of the default prompt and add an utterance Add another utterance. Note that in the prompts and corresponding utterances, I am using different slot names such as this one, this one, this one, and so on. And the slots that I already have created, they have a priority. I can use the slot names that are already defined before or its own slot name. So I click on save. For example, in the size slots prompt and corresponding utterances, I cannot use a slot name that was defined later like order quantity slot next I'm gonna add a confirmation prompt so from the confirmation prompt I check the checkbox and then add a confirmation message The user says no, then I will add another message for cancellation. So that's pretty much. I will save the intent. So quick review, sample utterances. I'm using different slot name for different words. I created five slots. 
for their names I used lowercase beginning letter and slot type I used uppercase beginning letter I used different prompts in this table it shows one of them to see the detail you can go to the settings and look at different prompts I removed the default prompt about city and wrote down the corresponding utterances and added them all by using plus sign I can see the slot details from the left side menu I can select each slot and then look at different values that I am using I can add or modify them as needed. If the bot doesn't understand what the user intent is, then bot will create another prompt. So I can add custom prompt. And also, I can set the maximum number of retries. So if I set it to, that means the bot will try to prompt the user and understand user intent two times. After that, if the bot doesn't understand, then it will hang up and show a message. So hang up phrase is, there is one default, sorry. I couldn't understand goodbye and you can add any other hang up message as you wish so I select save I can also see all of the bot names and intents I'll go back and under the bot menu you can see I created one bot named order handler under the intent I created two intents. One is help, that is a built in one, and ordered pizza is a custom one. And slot type, I have five different slot types. To modify any of these values, you need to go into the bot, select the corresponding intent, and change its values or select the corresponding slot to change its values all right now i can build this bot so from the top right corner so from the top right corner of the screen i select build and confirm build i may see error messages depending on how precisely or how accurately I typed in different values so the build was successful there was no error there could be errors such as in the settings uh, when you type in the prompt and you, if you use different slots in the prompt or in corresponding utterances and their names are not correct or you use a slot name that has not been defined yet you can see errors or you can see errors if there are certain characters that are not allowed okay so the bot is ready i can start chatting with the bot from the right side of the screen i can open the bot and start conversation so I will start something like I will 
would like to order pizza. So the response of the bot came as a prompt, delivery or pickup. Also, there are different slot values. Currently, it got food name as pizza and other slot values as now. As I give different slot input in the chat, it will fill up these different slot values. So I choose pickup. Next, it's asking the question what size pizza would you like? I will say large. And then it's asking for topping. So I would say cheese. Then it's asking for the order quantity. How many large pizza would you like to order? I'll say two. And then finally, it's asking the confirmation message. Are you sure to order two large cheese pizza? I will say yes. And then it's showing the order fulfillment information. Order pizza is ready for fulfillment. Delivery method is pickup. Food name is pizza. Order quantity is two. Size is large and topping is cheese. To start another conversation, I can clear chat history and then start again. Also, I can input by using microphone. So I will press on the microphone icon. I would like to order pizza. And then press on the microphone icon again. Yeah. So it's responding with voice and prompting delivery or pickup. So I will say delivery. Extra large. Pepperoni, please. Extra large pizza, would you like to order? Two, please. Yes, so the intent order pizza is ready. I can try a different utterances. So I cleared the chat history and then start by saying uh, something like, I would like to order pepperoni pizza. So I will use microphone. I would like to order pepperoni pizza. Pick up, please. So, what you like to order? Large. You notice that it didn't ask me topping from the size. It asked me the quantity of order, escaping the topping because in my initial utterances, I said I want pepperoni pizza. So it's asking how many. So I will say two. This time I'm going to say no at the end. No. Your order will not be placed. So that's another chat trial. 
you can try different input, different utterances, and it will try to recognize what you are saying and will try to go through the process. I want to show you that after two try, if it doesn't understand, it will say goodbye. So I just start over. I'll try again. Should I go outside or stay home during this COVID-19 pandemic? Can I go outside or should I stay home? So as you can see, it gave me two more prompts and it didn't understand my intent and it said goodbye and finish the chat. Now I'm also going to show you how to remove the bot. So I go to the bot list and this is the bot. So I select this one and under actions menu, I can select delete. I can also go to the intents and delete them. And then the slots. I can also import different intents and bots and slot types as I need. I'll show you an example. So under the intent, go to the actions and import. And then I browse to the intent. And here is order pizza intent. Select this one. Then select import. So the order pizza intent has been imported. Also, corresponding slot types of order pizza have been imported. I can see here. Now I will import a bot. order handler that I exported before. It found that the order pizza intent already exists because I imported it separately and the slot types, food type, topping and size came with order pizza intent. So it's giving me the option to overwrite. So I'll select overwrite and continue. So the order handler has been imported. Corresponding intent, order pizza and help. They were imported and different slot types that I used for this specific bot, they have been imported. I can go into the bot and make changes into the intent or into slots. 
by the way this is a different bot that i created before that's why you see only three different slots it's not the one that i demonstrated in this video anyway i will go and delete the bots and intents Alright, that is the end of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notification by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.